Hi, it's Nick from Nick's Nutrition and welcome back. This is an updated what's in my fridge video. As you may know, I've moved house and so have got a new fridge. This time around we went for a slimmer inbuilt one. So before we had a much wider American style fridge. I'll be explaining why we went for a different style fridge in a future video when I talk about my whole like kitchen layout um, and why we chose to have certain things in certain places. But for this video, I'm going to be showing you the content of both my fridge and my freezer. So welcome to my fridge. In my fridge is basically a mixture of things that I always have in it, as well as extras that as a food blogger I might be trying out. So I do tend to try different products every week depending on what things I'm trying out or reviewing or making and baking. So to start with the inside of the fridge, here I've got some squash. I really wish that I could drink uh, plain water. I can do on holiday, but for some reason, I just don't find it as refreshing as squash. So I've got no added sugar, apple, and fruit and barley summer fruit. Whilst I'm on the waterfront, something that I can drink is um, infused water. So this is an amazing contraption from Von Shelf. So it's from a website called Dom U. And basically, in the center of this jug, you fill it with things like lemon, lime, today I've got lemon and orange, fill it with water, and then you've got ice cold water that basically has just got a really nice delicate flavor. So that is amazing. Also on this inside section, so I've got some full fat mayonnaise there. Depending on calories wise, how much you want to spend on your um, condiments, I've also got some lighter than light mayonnaise there. So you're talking 11 calories a tablespoon or 100 calories a tablespoon. So if you're watching your weight, maybe go for the lighter option. Um, I've got some milk, so semi-skimmed and skimmed. I prefer skimmed in like my herbal teas, things like rhubarb and my protein smoothies. Semi-skimmed is more creamy though, so it tastes better in things like porridge. Up here, so for salad dressing, I love Udo's oil. Um, I just love the flavour and healthy fats help you to feel satisfied, help you to absorb essential nutrients. So yeah, the key is don't go low fat, go moderate fat in your diet. Um, also, I've got some chutney, which I haven't actually opened yet. Some pesto, which I made an amazing chicken with creme fraiche and pesto dressing the other week, so that's there. A couple of things that I'm trying out are these um, low fat, cheeses from Muscle Food. We've got mozzarella and we've got a cheddar style. And I quite like the mozzarella. Um, the cheddar I think could be great on things like grated on baked potatoes or in baking on things like lasagna. So yeah, if you are watching your weight and love things like cheese, then these might be an option. I'll link those down below. Something else that I was trying from Holland and Barrett was these bare naked noodles. So if you love your carbs but are watching your weight, then you might want to check out those. For me, they don't keep me that full, so I'm not a major fan, but I can see how in some people's diets they go quite well. Up here, I've got some lemon, so I love uh, warm water with lemon first thing in the morning and infused in water, and also things like gin and tonic. Um, I promote drinking in moderation, guys. Up here, I've also got some tomato puree, which is great in baking, and also to make salad dressings more interesting. I've got some Baby Bell light cheese. These are great, they're like five grams of protein and 40 calories in there. And up here is something else that I've been trying from Muscle Food. They sent me some protein bars. I tried their cookies and cream and it was gorgeous. I put them in the fridge just so that they are slightly harder so they've got a better texture. So moving on to the top part of the fridge, I've got some meat, so I'm not a vegetarian, but I do like to include at least one meat free day a week and also my breakfast and lunches tend to be meat free so for my evening meal I tend to base it around meat. I've got some beef burgers up here from an amazing online butchers called Live Lean so I will link them down below. They've also got some really good recipes on their website and I have written a full review of their stuff on my blog so I'll put that down below. Also from them I've got this amazing corn fed chicken which tastes beautiful. So I love roast chicken on a Sunday. So today's Sunday, so I'll be making that for later. Also on the top shelf, and I might change how I've laid things out um, in future, but this is just how it's looking today. 
I've got some green tea, so again, this is something that I reviewed. It's great low sugar um, ice green tea. It's one of the healthiest on the market, so that's really refreshing, so that's a nice drink. Chilling out there. I've got some clover spread, so it's mainly a monounsaturated spread, which is great for heart health. And then saturated fat, so as we know, saturated fat is kind of cardio neutral, so it's neither good for you nor bad for you, so don't go crazy on the stuff. Um, moving down to the middle section, in here, if anyone knows what you're meant to put in these like shelf sections, let me know. In there, from Lidley, we've got some chicken sausages and some chicken breast. And then moving on to this section, I've got, so at eye level, if you're feeling peckish, always put healthy foods. In here, I've got some pre-cut up carrots and in here I've got some salsa. That was left over from nibbles last night. I did also have some hummus, but I ate that for lunch, so that's gone. Um, back here, I've got some spare milk, because who wants to run out of milk? I've got some Philadelphia, which I was using in a recipe, and I can't remember what I was making, but it tastes great, great in like pasta dishes, um, or on things like Rivita as a snack. Um, eggs, I always have eggs in. Things like boiled eggs are great for a snack. Poached eggs, um, if you've been following me on social media, um, coddled eggs are like my new favorite thing. So I will um, link to the Ag Coddler, uh, which is this great device that you basically poach eggs and other ingredients in, and that's really cool. Um, pop those back. Behind my water jug, I've got um, some Purition. So again, if you follow me on social media or have watched my previous videos, this is something that I like. It's a whole food protein shake. It's got amazing ingredients. And on the back, I didn't realize this for ages, but it says refrigerate after opening. So that's why that is in my fridge. I've got the macadamia and vanilla, which is amazing. And in the back there, I've got raw vegan hemp. So moving down a level is something that I actually haven't yet tried, but by the time this video goes up, I will have tried it. So check out down below to a blog post link where I will be talking more about it. This is a high protein pizza. I know. Um, this is from Muscle Food. This is char grilled chicken and pepper. So that is in there. I will open it up and put pictures on my blog and let you know what I think. So that's high protein pizza. To the right, I've got some olives, great um, healthy fats in there. And then I've also got really nice snack, fresh berries, really low calorie, and some total not percent. I love the 2% and the full fat one, but if you're watching your calories, then this is amazing, like less than 100 calories for the entire pot, and there's a whopping nearly 18 grams of protein in there, so protein helps you to feel fuller for longer. So that's in there. On this lower section, I've got these smoothie drinks. So um, these are something that I put in my boyfriend's lunchbox. He is 30. Um, so they say that these are kids, but I just think that they're great to help you to get your five a day. In one of these, so there's a pressed apple, grape, strawberries, banana, cherries. So yeah, so if you're on the go and just want a quick, quick way of getting some fruit in, I think that they're quite good. I only get them when they're on offer though, so I think they're like two for four pounds, so they work out to be 50p a pot. Down here, I've got some leftovers. So last night I had friends round and I did a beef uh, tagine. So I always cover leftovers, high calorie leftovers with foil, so then you're not tempted until it's dinner time. Um, so this is what this, this is what this looks like. Um, the beef tagine, I also do some cauliflower couscous. I did normal couscous as well, which is in this bowl, like an Angel Harriet Moroccan couscous and some green beans. So might have that for tomorrow night's dinner. And then the bottom section is something that I always make sure that is filled with loads of vegetables. So one of my favorite is courgette. So I love it chopped up in stir fries or spiralized um, to make courgette. I've got some carrots, some broccoli, cherry tomatoes, onion, cucumber, mushrooms. Something that I always have is spinach. Um, if you've watched my video on how I make a superfood smoothie, then you'll know that I add spinach to my smoothies. I add it to salads, to stir fries, and I've also got some kale in there, which if you massage it with a bit of oil, salt and pepper, is amazing in salads and also as a snack. And I've also got a recipe for kale crisps. 
which I will link down below. So moving down to the freezer, in the bottom section I always have fruits and vegetables. So in here I've got some frozen um, banana slices that I love to snack on with peanut butter or to have in smoothies. I've also got some frozen berries from the supermarket which are again great in smoothies or lovely with yoghurt or in porridge. I've also got some sweet corn which is great in like, things like tuna pasta um, or in stir fries. In this middle section, so I've got some meat. I've got some chicken from Live Lean, uh, more chicken from Live Lean. I've got some fillet steaks from Live Lean, some minced beef, uh, some chicken breasts. I quite like chicken. I do have some oven chips in there, so we don't only deep wrap fry it, and yes, we sometimes have oven chips. And I've also got some wraps in there, which are frozen. And then in the top section, it's just for ice cube packs, which I use um, to keep things like pet lunches cool, and also some ice cubes. In our old fridge, we had an ice cube dispenser, which I really miss. So I might have to get one of those like ice cube maker things that you have on your side, but I haven't got to that yet. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this what's in my fridge and freezer video. I will put a blog post down below where I put pictures and more of an explanation of why I choose to buy and eat certain foods. If you want to see a what's in my cupboards video then do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.